today we will see about the separation of ssr markers by page on silver staining technique ssr markers that is simple sequence repeats or micro satellites was introduced in 1980s this micro this markers have wide range of applications that is in the field of genetics kinship and population studies ssr markers are codominant markers and it is of 1 to 6 base pairs in length recording polymer acrylamide gel electrophoresis it was introduced in 1959 by raymond and weintre this process has wide range of advantages one of them is it shows high polymorphism compared to the gel electrophoresis this process first introduced for the protein markers later it was introduced for other macromolecules the preview of the technique is gel casting running the gel and finally staining process here's the materials required it includes notch plate glass plate comb spaces page unit bioinsulin rain repellent 6% acrylamide 1% tb buffer aps timmed formaldehyde sts fixer strainer and developer these are all the chemicals and materials used in this technique let's see the materials and chemicals used one by one in this technique this is glass plate on which the gel attaches then it is notch plate on which the chemical rain repellent is applied in order to avoid the attachment of gel these are the clamps which is used for the atta attachment of glass plates the strainer consists of silver nitrate and water fixer consists of acetic acid water and the developer consists of sodium carbonate formaldehyde and sts bioinsulin consists of 99.5% ethanol 0.5% acetic acid and bioinsulin the 6% acrylamide consists of distilled water 10x tb urea acrylamide and bisacrylamide replant which is available commercially which helps in the uh, uh, attachment of the gel these are the spaces and cone and this is a gasket which is attached at the bottom of the glass plates by which the gel is induced into the glass plates which consists of cleaning the plates addition of timed and aps to the gel solution and mixing the gel solution with syringe and finally it filling the gel solution into the glass plates from the bottom of the set let's see the washing of notch plate the distilled water is applied on the notch plate and with the help of the tissue paper wipe it properly then the distilled water is was also applied on the glass plate and with the help of the tissue paper it was cleaned properly then apply 70% of ethanol on both notch plate and glass plate then with the help of the tissue paper wipe properly apply the rain repellent on the surface of the notch plate and with the help of the tissue paper wipe on the notch plate as if a layer forms upon the notch plate then apply little amount of bioinsulin on the surface of the glass plate and wipe the bind solution in on the surface of the glass plate as if a layer forms upon the glass plate which helps in the attachment of the gel to the glass plate then wipe the spaces and comb 
with the help of 70% ethanol. Then, after a few seconds, place the two spaces at each side of the notch plate. Then take the glass plate and place on the notch plate as if the clean surface faces the clean surface of the notch plate. Then set the two glass plates with the help of two clamps and fix it properly. Untie the clamps. and place the comb within the glass plates. Then insert the whole glass plate set into the gasket and tighten it with the help of a screws provided on the gasket. Then take 70 ml of 6x acrylamide and with the help of 1 ml pipette man take 600 microliter of APS which acts as a catalyst in the polymerization process. Then take 60 microliter of timid which helps in the polymerization. It is an initiator and elongator of the polymerization process. Then pour the timid and APS at a time into the acrylamide and mix it properly with the help of syringe. And fill the gel solution into the syringe. And, and place the tip from the bottom of the gasket and syringe in a vertical direction insert the gel solution between